Hi class, welcome to the Lego Bricks in Space program. It's time to get out your student worksheet. Working alongside the crew on board the International Space Station, you will find all the answers to the questions on your worksheet. Teachers, when you see the pause prompt on the screen, please pause the video to give students time to record their answers. Hold on to your seats as we launch into space. Welcome to my on orbit classroom. We are going to follow the scientific method and start with asking a question. The beam balance works on Earth because it measures weight. Will the beam balance work in space the same as it does on Earth? Weight is the amount of matter in an object multiplied by the force of gravity acting upon that object. Can weight be measured in space? The biggest challenge in this experiment is the fact that we are in a microgravity environment. Because of this, weight cannot be calculated and therefore experiments focusing on weight to balance objects are not effective. What is still measurable, however, is a mass. The need to maintain a crew member's weight on board the ISS is important. For instance, if I was to suddenly lose weight, it could be a health risk or an indicator of a bigger medical issue. But if we can't weigh ourselves, how do we know whether our bodies are healthy? Instead of calculating weight, we measure mass. Mass plays a critical role in activities and experiments on board the space station. Mass does not change in microgravity. Mass is the amount of matter in an object and can be measured in microgravity. A good hypothesis takes into account all of the variables in an experiment and offers a probable outcome. Here's our hypothesis. If we try to use the beam balance in microgravity, it will not function the same as it does on Earth. Let's test our hypothesis. We will be conducting the same three experiments you did in your classroom. Experiments A, B, and C. We are trying to create a balanced beam balance in these three experiments. Beam balance experiment A. Putting one load on each side. Let's see what happens. It does not balance. Beam balance experiment, bravo. One load on one side and on the other side, two loads.
This is not balanced. Beam balance experiment C. One load on one side and on the other side three loads. Let's see what happens. Okay. This is not balanced. We use a device called Space Linear Acceleration Mass Measurement Device or SLAM D to provide an accurate means of calculating our mass. To find our mass and to check if our body mass has changed, we follow Newton's second law. Force is equal to mass times acceleration, or in our case, mass is equal to force divided by acceleration. Each crew member sits on an arm which is pulled forward by a spring toward the belly pad. The spring is the force and is a constant known value. The amount of time it takes for the crew member to impact the belly pad is used to calculate an acceleration. Once that acceleration is calculated and recorded, the SLAMD software uses Newton's second law of motion to calculate the crew member's mass. We each log our mass and report any significant changes. This helps us stay in shape and ensure we are keeping our bodies healthy for our return trip home. Well, our time is about up, but before I leave, I would like to ask you a few questions to keep your exploration of space going. Question 1. Are there any other environments where the beam balance would work differently? Consider the impact altitude may have on the model. Question 2. Do you think there are objects that have larger or smaller mass in this space than they do on Earth because of microgravity? Thanks for stopping by my on-orbit classroom. See you soon!